This short video demonstrates how the EC2 plugin for Jenkins makes it easy to distribute work within a hybrid cloud environment. In our example, the application build process is split into two stages. The first stage rapidly compiles the latest code and runs unit tests. The second stage runs through a series of functional tests. We run the tests on M1 mediums to balance price and performance. Still, we don't like spending money on instances that often go idle, and having Jenkins shut them down after a period of inactivity would be fine, but startup times can really start to slow things down. To address these problems, we recently deployed a small eucalyptus cloud, and as you'll see, the AWS eucalyptus hybrid cloud handles things smoothly. So let's first take a look at how the clouds are configured. As you'll see, we've got our AWS cloud, which is what we started with. Since Eucalyptus looks and acts just like Amazon, it's like having your own local availability zone. So the configuration is almost the exact same. For each AMI, we've assigned a set of labels to help make it easy for DevOps to choose uh, the, the size instance that they want to run on and in which cloud they want their jobs to run in. So now let's go over to our functional testing job and change its configuration so that it uses the Eucalyptus cloud. To ensure that this job always runs on Eucalyptus, we simply set its restriction. And now it will always run on a medium instance on my local Eucalyptus cloud. So let's see this in action. We'll start by kicking off our build and, and unit test. And that job's definition is to launch the functional testing after successful completion of build and unit. Since build and unit test is successfully completed, the next phase was to launch the functional testing. You can see here that it's currently waiting and that Jenkins has automatically started to spin up a new instance inside of the Eucalyptus cloud once the instance is provisioned by Eucalyptus, Jenkins will install the slave and begin the build process for the functional testing phase. So before I forget, we want to take advantage of that M1 medium instance. It's running on our local cloud, so we might as well just leave it up. And that's it. Now you've seen the EC2 plugin for Jenkins work with both AWS and Eucalyptus in one environment. Thanks for watching.